You know, I don't know. I can't even say for certain. I saw too many games and too much inconsistency from Arizona to where I can definitively say Arizona is going to take care of business here. I, I, what are we going to get out of Arizona? If they play like they played in some of those regular season games, they're going down. What's going on, guys? Friday, Sweet 16, day number two. Going to go over every single game for today for you guys on the game total, just like I did in the previous video. Went two and two. Uh, went two and two on the spread, obviously, in the video before that. I went over every single game against the spread for free for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. And I've, I'll be going over every single game in the Elite Eight as well. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you know when those videos come out. Uh, but I want to read you these numbers because before you bet on game totals, I, I, I'm trying to, and I've been asked before, like, why don't I always do totals? You never mention totals in your videos. All your premium picks never have totals. Um, this is why. There's no value. I thought North Carolina had the most value out of the four. But the UConn game, 135 and a half, ends at 134. So I was right on that one. Uh, over 152 and a half for the Clemson game comes up just short at 149, about a one possession. Uh, under the 173 for the Carolina game, 176. Uh, under 145 and a half for the Iowa State game, barely get there with 141. So just understand that if you're going to put your money on a game total, at the end of the year in college basketball specifically, the algorithms, the database, all the things that the books use to create these lines, they're sharp, they're accurate, they're almost dead on most of the time. And it, it, it really truly is a gamble. I mean, it really is a flip of a coin trying to bet a total. Uh, Clemson, I thought was the line that stuck out to me the most. Seven and a half was just like wildly out of control. I even uh, played the little clip to start today's video off said how uh, there was plenty of games where Arizona, if a certain Arizona team showed up, they'd go down outright. That's what they did. They lost the game outright. So I uh, went two and two for you guys on, uh, on spreads today, went two and two on totals. And you know what? We went two and two on my own picks, the stuff where I had my own personal money and the picks gave out to members. Um, we did cash with Clemson. We did cash with Alabama, ended up going against the public in that game. It was just way too public, and the line was short. Told you guys it just made no sense to me. Went with Bama there, uh, but we come up short on Iowa State. I took them on the money line only for the first half, and I do believe if that second half was the first half, Iowa State would have won the first half. They would have won the game. I thought they were the better of the team. That's the worst game they played all year. It happens. These are kids. It happens. It's gambling. Um, and the other one we lost on was the under in the UNC game did take a total. Uh, it should have flew under. I mean, the hundred points in the first half is what it is. That's the small day. There wasn't a single bet today that was over a single unit, half units and units were the only size bets I made today. I only made four of them today is the nuclear bomb, a 10 unit play. I have a thousand dollars on it. I'm probably going to add a little bit more this morning. It looks like we might get a little bit of a better price as well. So for those of you who think you missed the boat or something, get on my website, pay $30, get access to this 10 unit play. And it's not just that I have a bunch more. I got some two units, a three unit play in there. The 10 unit bomb, of course, um, all the elite eight games on Saturday and Sunday for $30, you are going to get a ton of some of my biggest college basketball plays all year. Yes, I was cold at the beginning of the week. Yes, I'm starting to come around and get my feel for things again. And yes, I do believe there's a lot of value in day two of the Sweet 16. The first day, we had some upsets. We had some crazy totals that were almost right on the number. Today is where the value is at. I cannot suggest it enough. Um, anybody who's on the fence, even if you're a previous subscriber and you've lost faith uh, in the short term, get back on board. You are really going to ride me for a week or two and you're going to miss out on the day I have a 10 unit play. You're going to be killing yourself if I come on here and this thing hits and you're like, God damn it, man. Should have had that 10 unit play. Should have, you know, made all, made all the lost ground up from earlier in the week. This is how you do it. I preach unit management right? Bankroll management. I preach this. I say, don't chase your losses. I say, be smart with your money, but man, when you find a spot, you got to take advantage of it as well. That's what we have today. Dancepicks.net link in the description link pinned in the comment at the top of the comment section. I mean, I've been checking my notes. I've, I've only had seven of these going back multiple years. Um, it just doesn't happen. So take advantage of it when it does happen. 
I can't even promise I'll have another 10 unit play for the entire calendar year 2024. Um, with that being said, my so bet link also in the description. If you want access to people that pick up the slack when I'm cold, get on so bet 40 or 50 pros. I'm one of them. I put a daily pick on so bet every single day. Um, but you know what? I've been cold on there, but you know what? The other 40, 50 creators on there, the other professionals that are hand selected by the so bet company, they are killing it. So many people just have seven and no days, five and no days, 10 and one days. These people are up so much money. I'm usually in the running on there. I'm usually on the leaderboard. Not lately. I've been cold. You guys know it last few days earlier uh, in the beginning of the week, I was cold, but um, everybody on so, but continues to impress me. It's just a great group over there and you get access to all of our picks, everybody's picks, the full card from everybody for an entire month for $10 a month. Um, like I said, I only do one daily pick. If you want all my picks like this 10 unit play, my three units, all the bets I'm making today and in the elite eight, you got to get on the website and grab a package. Um, but if you want a little bit of a more cost effective option to have more, um, exposure to more professionals, maybe so bets the way to go. The other thing, if you do want to, if you do end up choosing to get my package and get these plays for today, uh, don't trip if you sign up at six in the morning, eight in the morning, 10 in the morning. I got somewhere to be tomorrow morning. I should be home around 11 a.m. Eastern time. As soon as I get home, I'll check all the orders that came in. I'll reach out to you guys, get your information, get you the picks. None of these games are going off at noon time like the first round. The first game is, you know, it's in the evening. It's seven o'clock at night. Uh, so don't worry if I don't contact you like in the early morning hours. Um, I'll get to you. I'll find you. I'll get you the picks. And this is a line, uh, that you don't have to worry about like the, the line going up or you're going to get a worse line. Nope. You might even get a better price on this one. The deeper into the afternoon it goes. Um, so even if it's in the morning, even if you're seeing this video at 11 in the morning, get on there, get on the website, spend your $30, get access to this giant bomb play and hit it, hit it hard with us. Let's prosper. Everybody's a community. Let's get into the games for today. Let's see what these totals are. Sweet 16. The first game is the NC State Marquette game. The total's 151. I want to write this down. I already wrote them down somewhere, but I'm going to write them down again. 151 and a half is the NC State Marquette total. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know here. I worry about NC State's offensive rebounding. Um I think they're going to have some second chance opportunities. I do. I also think this is a game that has a, a, a pretty good potential to have some fouls at the end of it. So you're going to stack up some more points at the end. Um, I like Marquette's offense, but what kind of makes me nervous here, I, I think the nerves from NC State getting this far, I mean, really starting to overachieve you know, they played all those games in a row and they were hot, right? They had their hot streak. They're hot. They're hot. They're hot. They keep winning. Okay. Well, they just had a chunk of time off from playing basketball. Are they going to be able to come into this game against Marquette and still be hot? I I'm not going to be able to trust the offenses enough here. 151 and a half is a bit too high for me. I'm going to go under the total of 151 and a half. Gonzaga, Purdue. Two really efficient teams, man. I I, I, I think both teams are going to score just fine. I think Zach Eady is going to have success. I think guards are going to have success. I think both teams have good shooters, just good, athletic, coordinated, sharp teams. 154 and a half, I don't think is enough. I'm going to go over the total of 154 and a half. Duke, Houston, the total's 133 and a half. Um, so this one's a little bit more dependent on the referees. Okay, if the refs really let let the players just kind of do whatever they want, like if they let Houston play really tough defense, they're going to bully Duke, and, and I fear that Duke might struggle to score. Uh, but in the same token, I can never trust this Houston offense to a degree. I think Duke has pretty good perimeter defense. Um, I think it's going to be a slower pace game in the second half. I know 133 and a half seems low already. I don't think it's low enough. I'm actually going to go under 133 and a half for the Houston game. And to round out the night, Creighton, 
Tennessee, the total's 144 and a half. It, I, I mean, Tennessee is off just such a bad shooting game. I mean, they just couldn't buy a shot. Is that going to be the same against Creighton? I, I, they got to shoot a little bit better than that. Uh, maybe we get overtime in this game. I think Creighton has some guys that can shoot too, but Tennessee has just smothering defense. This is going to be so close. 144 and a half. I mean, like I said earlier in the video, I think this is an example where 144 and a half is just so accurate. I mean, it's literally going to be like 72 a piece. 74, 70, 71, 73, 68, 75, like somewhere in there. At the end of the day, I think I'm going to have faith that the refs are going to be blowing the whistle a little bit here. I think the offenses are going to come to life a bit more. 144 and a half. God, is there going to be enough here? I feel like I feel like Tennessee has got to be better than they were in the last game. They have to be. I think Hawkbrenner. I think Alexander. I think Ziegler. I think Connect. I think the offense has got to come around a little bit here. I'm going to go over 144 and a half. That's probably my least favorite of the four. But who knows? It's March Madness. Sometimes your least favorite ends up cashing. So there's all the totals for today's games. Uh, of course, the next video will be out about all the elite, uh, the elite eight games and my opinions on those. Um, gave out a free play on TikTok today. I can't remember what it is. I'm going to put it on the screen regardless. I mean, I really can't remember what I put out today. Um, but yeah, you can swing by the TikTok for free plays. I'm always on here giving my opinion for free. And uh, for the final time, the final opportunity, probably my only time of the year I can say this. I have a 10-unit play today. Go get it for $30 along with all the other plays, the two units, the three units, all the Elite Eight games, and all of next week. It's a week subscription for 30 bucks. That's a lot of value. See you in the next video.